and usually the sun is shining. Today is overcast. Oh well, we'll have a great day today. Yes, that only means one thing. It's sports day here at Bullers Wood. As part of the day, the school is split into eight teams. This year, the teams are named after sportswomen and we're competing in our form groups for the coveted Interform Trophy. Miss Sydney is here to tell us about why it's important that we take part in our annual sports day. Can you tell us about why sports days are so important? Um, for me, sports day is really important because it brings a sense of community. Um, I love the afternoon when the whole school's down here. They get to see um, people really working to their very best um, and, and absolutely in their element. Um, I also love it because being a PE teacher, I love competition. And so regardless of whether or who wins or loses, I just love the fact that people are willing to put themselves out there and have a go. That's great. And can you tell us about the day's events? So this morning we've been doing the field events, so they are the throws and the jumps um, with the welly throw thrown in there as well and the tug of war. Then the, um, after break time we will have what we call the mini Olympics, which is where um, GB athletes come and coach different um, members who've signed up um, and it's a really really um, lovely experience for them to work with pros in their field. And then this afternoon the rest of the school come down and we have our track events. Sounds very exciting. So, stay tuned for lots of sporting excitement as we celebrate Sports Day here at Bullerswood. First up, it's the field events. Well, it's all getting very exciting over here at the field events. Some of the school records for these sports have stood for a number of years. Is 2017 the year for those sports records to be broken? The field events taking place here are high jumps, javelin, long jump, shot put, tug of war and welly throwing. that counts. How have you prepared for this day? This um, event? Oh, I ate healthy this week, slept a lot and I did some preparation in class so I was ready. I'm here with Isabel who is competing in the welly throw. Hello. How have you performed today? Um, not very well, I've got one good throw and then the other one went about two centimetres and slipped out of my hand. And how have you prepared for today's event? Um, I've been practicing my techniques, so obviously the welly's not that heavy actually, so I'm just figuring out what to do over arm or under arm. I might actually have to switch because I've been not doing so well. I'm here with Emma who is competing in the high jump. How have you performed today? Uh, the first few goes I didn't get over but I tried it from the different side and I managed to get it right. How have you prepared for today's event? Um, I drank lots of water, I got lots of sleep and we practiced in my key. That's it for me. These events are taking place all morning and we will be looking at the results later in the program. Now it's over to the Olympics. Faint Saffron. Hi, I'm Lauren and I'm here on the main sports field ready to report on Bursford Mini Olympics. Students from all year groups are participating in these events ahead of the main track events this afternoon. And I'm here to find out more about what it's all about. I am here with Miss William. So the Mini Olympics is um, an event that the students can sign up to, to where we have um, lots of under 23 GB athletes that have even competed for GB or they are currently competing and they get special training so if you can see the background they're actually being trained for like an hour, special specific hour of, of their sort of training they go through. I'm here with Faden. Can you tell us what you and your team will be working on with our students today? So today we've got sprinters, jumpers, hurdles, coaches in. So we're going to be going through all the different technical aspects of each event.
has been involved with athletes coaching for many years and who has coached from brilliant top track athletes. Do you think it's important for girls to take part in the I certainly do. Sport's got so much to offer, whether you're boys or girls, but um, with, with girls particularly, it's healthy, it's, uh, it's enjoyable, it's fun. It can lead to all sorts of things. It can actually lead to a career in sport sometimes, depending on what your interests are. So it's healthy, it keeps, keeps you, your mind focused, and it also improves self-esteem and confidence in, uh, in what we do in life. I'm here with Jim. Why did you take part in the Mid-Atlantic? Uh, I've been doing it every year, this is my fourth year doing it and it's a really good opportunity to meet um, other like-minded sports people and just, you know, have the doors open to other sports that I haven't tried before. Now, it's not all the traditional events, we also have some fun events right here in the centre. We have the obstacle course race, we have the egg and spoon race and the skipping race right here. out the competitive spirit within the form groups. It's a great afternoon, everybody enjoys themselves, a bit of sports, good for all, good for the health, good for enjoyment, get the endorphins going. I love people cheering, I love the sports they do, I love, I'm a big fan of sports. We're really impressed with the 1500 metres just because it's such a long way to run uh, and at the same time I also enjoy the obstacle courses, uh, the obstacle event that's just taken place as well, lots of fun. Mate, these young ladies want to know why I like sports so much, can you please tell them? Is, does that answer your question? There's definitely a lot of team spirit, which is nice. I think sports day is an excellent opportunity for students to do something outside, not in the classroom. I do love that, that whole element of competition. It's always a fun and exciting environment. It's been a great day so far. People get to come together. And like, it's a fun time to like mix with different like, things. And it's competitive, but it also encourages you to like, and participate in stuff. It's an amazing atmosphere. Everyone's so supportive and cheering everybody on. I like the range of activities. It's not just traditional athletics. I like the obstacle course, the skipping, the egg and spoon race. It gives, it's a real opportunity for all students to get involved. It's just the best day ever. I like how, uh, how positive the atmosphere is and the fact that it brings everybody together and people of different years talking to each other and mixing well. It's great to see all the year sevens through to the year tens working together and all the different teams. Helping out. And there seems to be a lovely positive atmosphere, everybody's really supporting each other, there doesn't seem to be any real scary competition, everybody's genuinely pleased for the competitors. That's it from Bullet Sports Day. We hope it's inspired you to get up and get active. Now we're off to enjoy an ice cream. We've been the Bullet Sports Day reporters. Bye!